Hi everyone. So in this video, we're going to go over how to create the resume page associated with our homepage. So I went to the my text editor and I create a new file. And even before we write anything, we can save. So let's save as I'm going to call this resume file, but I already have one resume page. So let's say resume uh, final. And let's write dot HTML. Let's see if that works. Save. Okay. And then so to start, let's come back. Let's there's always recycling of content possible. So let's recycle the content. Let's put a little bit kind of this information here. File name. This is resume final, the original file name. My first home page is resume. This is all common, so the computer will disregard. You can write anything here until it sees the end uh, tags for the comments. So, and also we can probably copy, in fact, we can copy much of this because this is the header and these are the basic descriptions of the file. So actually I can copy this whole area here and then go to resume and then just paste it. So let's check doc, we got the first uh, doc type declaration there, HTML head character set title. Actually, let's call this different. Let's not call this my homepage. Let's call resume page, Nick's resume or something like that. Now we could use a different CSS, but we're going to use the same style sheet for the previous one as well. And then we have body, we have um, header. I want the header to be the same. So let's let's save this. Oh, and we need some of the end tags as well. Let's see if the, the, the we need an end body tag. Or you can use the home end keys on your keyboard to go from the beginning of the end of the line. But one thing that I wanted to do differently here is that because I want to have a different body, I'm not going to have sections like I had on the previous page. So I'm going to use an inline, inline styling for the body. And I'll show you why. So in the body tag, and the body is the main content of the, um, the page, um, although the header other will assume its own characteristics, the rest of the body will be characterized by two properties that I'm going to change here explicitly, and that's background color and padding on the left and padding on the top. And I'm doing that because this is a little bit of a different page. And I'll show you what it's going to look like. So uh, let's take a look at it here. Now, this page is not resume, it's resume final. So, and also here, the home and about and contact are not going to be the same in this one. You just go right into it so you can kind of see it. So I renamed it resume final. So I can actually just change the address here, resume final.html, hit enter and see, I just have the the header there that I established and then the color that I want on the background which is this one here which is like created by you go you look for an RGB RGB color chart on the line and you figure out what these numbers what the color is for these numbers and this the last one is transparency RGB a has a transparency in the last one so I'm assigning three properties this is the inline CSS inline styling which gets superseded uh, for some of the contents, for some of the tags, uh, but we're also gonna have an external CSS file. So um, how it, the way the links are now, this is here is, is going to take us to a section in this document of, of home and in this document of about, and I don't have anything, um, well, I don't have anything in general, but I also don't have contact or about or home. Those are in the previous page. So what we have to do is 
we have to say that the address for those is um, home page dot html. Now there are different ways to do this, and because that's a section of the page, what we can do is just put the hash symbol like that. That's how we do it to go right to that page and to that section. And we do the same thing here. You can see sometimes the options already appear about uh, because it sees that it, there's files there, homepage.html, and then contact. Now if we save here and then reload, first you gotta reload, and then contact me about me, you see it goes back to the previous page. Now the resume page is not gonna go because it's now it's linking still to the um, old one, but actually I can modify really quick here. Resume, sign up. So reload home resume. Oh no, it's not. What did I do? Oh, it's still going to somehow homepage. Uh, home page. I'm not sure why you went there, but sometimes you don't save or we don't reload properly and there's some issues. So let's reload. This is the one I created with you, home underscore page. And if we go to about, or if we go to about, it still goes home underscore page, contact me. And then if we go to resume, it goes to the one I'm still writing yeah, but now I'm on the resume page, you can even see at the end here, resume.html. But then if I go to contact me, I should go back to the home page. And home page, HTML contact. For some reason, look at this. There's a home page. There's too many things going on. It's going to resume final.html, hashtag home page. It's too much. It should just be home page like that should go there. So why didn't it go there? We're in the resume. And then we're gonna contact me, it doesn't go there. So the reason is if we go to resume final, homepage.html, oh, this one right here, just the contact doesn't work because I left, forgot the hashtag here. Now it should work. Resume and then contact me goes to contact me. Resume go to about me goes to about me on the homepage. So that's the header. I just wanted to keep the header the same, right? It kind of makes sense within the same site. You keep the, some of the elements the same. Uh, but I did want to change up the background and some of the other things a little bit. And that's because here we're going to have a um, a resume. And let me show you what I did with this resume. Now, there are many ways to go about it. And so this is just one way. And let's, let's put a comment here. Beginning of resume content. And uh, let me sure, remember to fit, close that comment. Okay, so what I did is I put a heading, just a big kind of heading with my name in the beginning. And then I'm creating a table. And the idea of the table is that it kind of organizes and sort of structures things. So when the user moves the screen around, like stretch it open or closing, it everything stays structured and doesn't start getting jumbled. So the table is a very good way to keep that structure. And the table works by writing table. And then the TR, TR means is table row. TD is table cell, data cell. And actually it would be nice if this was structured like this. Now it's not very intuitive what the table is gonna look like with this HTML, but because I only have one row, so TR is table row, and this is one cell, one cell per row, it's pretty straightforward. It's a lot of repeated content, but you can kind of use copy and paste. The computer recognizes when you start typing, especially if you begin with TRTD, once you get to the end, you start writing sideway brackets um, slash, then it already knows it's TD because it expects that. 
So if we save, also Blime wants me to give it money, but I don't have much right now. So no, but um, maybe later. So now let's, and I already created, started creating another section here for, but with, uh, after the table, there's another heading. So expertise, and then some items about my expertise and then another heading projects, and then actually create a table once again for the organization. And I'm actually making a reference to some PDF files. And you can see that you can make reference to URLs are references to files, right? Just like a web page is a file. So you can make references to your PDF files and other things as well. Uh, once again, the same table structure. And if you're, this table structure is kind of unclear to you, take a look at some examples from the, from the W3 schools and you'll see that. Uh, once you start putting like two uh, columns, which in tables of course naturally have, it's not very intuitive the way it looks from the HTML, but uh, you can see how it works from other examples as well. So I save here, I want to reload, and then you can see starting to take shape. Um, and it's um, it kind of stays there because there's not much, uh, it's not centered, it's just centered to the left. But this padding that left, this padding left here, 10 points and padding the top, this is for the separation here I wanted to have because this page is different than the home page. You see totally kind of like different style in a way uh, with the sections. I wanted to make the make it different. So I put I changed this body style here slightly uh, for these three properties uh, to look more like a resume page. Now, if you actually look here, these projects, the way I was able to put it like this, uh, actually you can put it, you can put it like this. It looks just like a paragraph in the space, but I put it in a table as well here. And this is actually a table with two uh, items in the same row. You see star one TD row and then one cell here. This whole thing is one cell because there's a reference to it. So I need to include that reference code. There's a link in it. And then TD in the same TR, the same row, another TD. And then I close the row here. And then the same, this here, it just has one column. But you maybe want to play around with double columns. Now, I also use the table for some of the other content. And then I kind of actually put it in a nice format here uh, because it really structures the content well for like a resume kind of thing. So here's my research experience and maybe it'd be nice to have a comment here too. Uh, work experience area. Notice how I'm not using the divisions that I used before, but I'm using tables and other resources that I have. So there's a heading, there's some information about timeline, and then I started using a table and the table naturally it's indented here just for visualization purpose, but the table does provide a little indentation in the, the way we're going to look at it. And you will see, and notice how I actually have a list inside the table. So this TD is a table cell and I actually have a line break. So this is one table cell, but then that I put a list inside, just different ways to do, to do different things. And I'm going to save this and I'm going to show you what it looks like. You know, resume page reload and it gives this kind of nice structured um, format here that is very is difficult to get uh, without some kind of tabling use. Now notice you don't see the table because I also uh, did not assign any um, uh, this either did not assign or assign the table border to be zero. So we'll look at that CSS later. And then I have kind of similar, I just added some other similar content here for the, um, for the, my resume page. There's probably just, you know, more than one section, maybe education section. I had an other experience section. I put it a little bit differently. I didn't put it in the table, uh, but I just wanted to test some other ways to do it like so, test without the table. Um, you know, if you really want to make it really neat for something you actually publish, you want to have 
the layout consistent, but I was kind of exploring a little bit here too. So this area doesn't have, as you can see, doesn't have a table, but this has a table. Um, and then there's a big section at the end here, H2, and then just a paragraph, just a line of text, and then a footer section like before, and then close the body, close the HTML. Let's save this, take a look. I just uh, restarted, I refreshed rather, and then we take a look and it kind of looks like that. So this kind of has a nice bullet point here, but notice that I don't have the other heading on top. So it kind of worked out. Um, this worked this way because with this kind of space from here and this indentation, all these little details have to be programmed in for the computer, otherwise it doesn't know what to do. Uh, but you can see if you use a table and then a list, it looks nice, but just a list can also maybe work for you, different headings. And then there's a footer with the same, I didn't change the uh, light, I'm sorry, background color here, but you could, for example, you could write some background, you could style inline inside the footer, style, and change the background color. Um, oops, you need quotes. If you're doing inline styling, you need quotes like that. Background color, but then you need to look at the colors and so on. You can, there's some standard ones like red. Let's see if this works. Save it. Uh, and then red, but this red is very ugly, right? So probably don't want to use that. Um, and also there's an issue here with the padding and that probably has to do with this padding that I added here, padding on the left. So if we take this out, it's um, padding left zero, control S, save, back reload, takes that out, it looks better in regards to the footer, but then everything gets moved to the left. So you really gotta play around with this. It's kind of tricky, um, but we just wanted to get started and um, get some sense of how to create an HTML. This is it for this one. Uh, next one will be the CSS.